In this video, I am going to show you how to rebalance portfolio. So let's start. Rebalancing your portfolio involves purchasing and selling assets to ensure the proper level of investment risk that you are comfortable with. This will not only keep your portfolio on track to reach your goals, but can also increase the return on your investment portfolio. What is portfolio rebalancing? If you are investing for the first time beginning to invest, you should outline your objectives and then choosing an asset allocation plan to guide your investments. This strategy helps you balance the possibility of high returns with the risk level that you are comfortable with. You'll likely invest in stocks to drive growth and yields and bonds to provide security and income. A long-term investment portfolio designed for retirement, for instance, may comprise the asset mix of percent stocks and 20% bonds. However, the different types of stocks may not be created equal The 80% of stocks can be subdivided into United States large company stocks, United States small company stocks, and international stocks. In the same way, bonds can be split between United States government bonds and corporate bonds. Since the investments in the portfolio fluctuate in value and the portfolio may drift away from the chosen asset allocation, the plan could be to invest 80% in stocks and 20% in bonds. For instance, the allocation may shift to 15% stocks and 15% bonds in line with market returns because the bonds you've purchased have value while the stock market gains value. Rebalancing involves purchasing or selling exchange-traded funds, mutual funds, or other investments in order to return a portfolio to its allocated asset allocation. In the same way that you could sell 5% of your portfolio's worth in stocks, and then make use of the proceeds to buy bonds, this would bring your portfolio back to the asset allocation, plan consisting of 20% stocks and 80% bonds. Rebalancing is important for two reasons, risk management and improved returns. A plan for asset allocation is designed to meet two objectives, optimal returns with minimal risk. If portfolios are not rebalanced, they tend to move away from bonds and instead into more investment in stocks as time passes. Although this may increase the overall returns of your portfolio, it can increase the risk. For instance, it could increase the risk of your portfolio's highs higher and the lows less. Based on your timeline and goals as well as your capacity to manage short-term losses, this riskier level could sabotage your financial plan. As well as keeping your risk under control, rebalancing can also improve the returns on your investments by rebalancing several asset types with similar long-term expectations for returns. Rebalancing funds from small company funds, emerging markets, small company funds, and rates, for instance, it could increase your return when you sell one that is doing well and buy another one that isn't performing as well currently, but historically has offered similar returns. In this case, you could be selling high and purchasing low as the ultimate goal of investing. If an asset class made up 50% of your portfolio, you'd rebalance whenever that asset class fell to below 40% or was above 60%. Many of the top robo-advisors like Betterment and Wealthfront include some form of tax loss harvesting for their clients. Rebalancing is a crucial aspect of managing your portfolio of investments. By rebalancing, you will maintain the risk level of your portfolio constant and, in some cases, even boost the returns you earn. When rebalancing, however, you must be cautious not to trigger it and excessive tax-deductible income in tax-exempt accounts. There are some best investment and trading options given in the description below, so don't forget to check them. If you like the video, then like it and share it and give your opinion through a comment. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, then do it now and also press the bell icon so that you can get notifications of my future videos. Thanks for watching.